Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can create an invoice sheet that will bring back multiple rows of items like this one here. The same invoice, multiple courses. So if I select a different invoice from this list at the top there, whatever I select, it will bring in either one or multiple items depending on which one I select. So there's just one item there. So what I'm using is the VLOOKUP function, the ROWS function, IF ERROR and CONCATENATE. Those are the functions and features that I'm going to use. This is the formula down the bottom there. And I'm just going to redo this invoice underneath so you can see how it works. If I come up and I'll do it down here so you can see it. So first of all, I'll just copy these labels. Copy those. Just paste them down here and I'll copy this validation list these two actually copy and just put them there I've also got customer items here I'll just put that copy that and put that over here like so so we've got the customer details there as well and then I'll just grid this area area off. Not by doing that, I want undo. Just make a, a grid. All borders. That one. So what I want to do is do a lookup in here that will bring back multiple items. Now this table on the left. First of all, if I highlight all the columns, I've named it data one. I've also added a formula here, which is the countif function and concatenated with B2. So it's basically putting a number in front of that. So what, I'm going to delete these first four so you can see how this works and then just do the countif function on that. So it's equals count if open the bracket so i click on b2 and i need to f4 b2 to lock it and then i need to do a colon and select b2 again colon and then b2 again i'll type it and then comma b2 again for the third time then close the bracket now when i tick that that should just give me a one now if i pull that down it should go one, two, three, and then back to one. So it's basically counting if these, how many items of, in this case, A, B, one, two, three, there are, there are three, and then it's gone back to that one. So what I'm now going to do is add the concatenation at the end to join it back on. So basically the concatenation symbol is the and sign, and then you type in B2 again. And I'll tick that one, and then I'll just pull that down so it does exactly the same. So all I'm doing there is adding a number in front of this invoice. So the VLOOKUP over here, I'm going to do the VLOOKUP first of all, not the IF ERROR you can see there. So I'm going to do the VLOOKUP and the ROWS function. I'm going to use the ROWS function. So down here, I'll just type, I'll come up a bit. I'll just type what the rows functions does. It just basically tells you what row you're on. So if I go equals row like that, that's it. Tick. So I'm on row 19. So if I want this to be looking at number one, I need to be doing minus um, 18. So this one, this was row seven. And I did a minus six, and that's what's sitting inside of this function. And it's concatenated with the actual invoice cell, which will be this one. So if I come down and just start typing equals V lookup, open the bracket on that. So you can see there it's the rows that I need to do first, or the row function, not the S row. And I need to do minus 18, so it'll be row one and then I need to concatenate that with the and sign with that cell there where a b one two three 
So I've got minus 18 and then this, and I need to dollar sign this F4. So that's locked because I'm going to potentially, well, I am going to pull that down. So that's a lookup value, all of that, comma. And then I'm looking at the area, the table over here, which I've called data one, data one, comma. Now, I need the actual, the row numbers that I want from here. So I put some numbers at the top there. So I don't want, I do want column two, column number, should I say, column two. But I don't want three and four. I just want five, six, seven, and eight. So I'm going to click up there to that cell. You can type that in if you want, comma, zero, an exact match. And then I'm closing that bracket. So let's have a look at this. If I tick that, comes up with the invoice itself. Pull that across. And that one has worked. These need to be formatted. So this needs to be formatted to money, pounds. This needs to be formatted to dates, date. And now I need to highlight all of this and pull that down to there. Now I'm getting some values and some errors because I need to be dollar sign in that function which I haven't done so it's the one I need to lock so I need a dollar sign in front of the one we shall lock that if I tick that pull it over again it's going to get rid of the formatting I just did and then pull it down to there so I'm getting NA based on that invoice because there's only one let me just format these again oops so that's money, and this is dates, format date. And what I now need to do is put this F error in front of the VLOOKUP and then just leave it as blank at the end there. So that's what I shall do up here. I'll go if error, if all of that comes back with an error, which it is doing, if error, Open the brackets, go right to the end of all of this VLOOKUP, comma, and then I'm just going to go quote, quote, which means leave it blank and then close the if error bracket. Tick that and then pull it across again and get rid of my format again. I'll be good at doing the formats. Pull that down. There it disappears. Look, it's now showing me all only the invoice that's relevant to that number and then the date. In there date and then in here I need to do the sum function to pick that up so alt equals is the key command for sum tick that gives me the sum for that so if I change this invoice to the first one I get three and if I come further down I get four items coming from this list now this is still picking up the um, information from the top one so let's have a look at this so this is just basically a v lookup looking at code code is just this area that's called data and code is this cell here so that's giving me the same information but i want this to be the cell it looks at so i'll just change this one so that's it so now if i come back up here and change the code the company details uh, change as well as do the invoice so that's the function i did not mention that i had this one as well over here i will copy that out copy just tick that and I'll just put that down here. You need to format that to a text cell with the apostrophe. And then you can paste that in there. Like that. So that's the helper column. And that is the formula for it. With concatenation at the end. So that's all I want to talk about in this little video. How you can return multiple roles with a VLOOKUP. And how you can hide errors with the if error function if you so wish.
So hopefully this little video is of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.